In a previous video, we learned that alkyl halides can have substitution and elimination reactions. Now that we've learned about the functional groups with alcohols, amines, and ethers, could any of these functional groups have a substitution or elimination reactions just like the alkyl halides? In fact, some of them can. However, the reactivity of these new functional groups depends on the leaving group. As we learned with alkyl halides, better leaving groups are weaker bases, so that for the halogen leaving groups, the iodide ion is the best leaving group, and the fluoride ion is the poorest leaving group. If we have an alcohol functional group, the OH or hydroxyl group can act as the leaving group. However, if it were to leave, we would have OH-, which is a strong base, so therefore the OH- is a poor leaving group. However, if we were to first protonate the alcohol, then the leaving group would become H2O. Since H2O is a weak base, it's a much better leaving group than the hydroxyl group by itself. For amines, if we had an NH2 group leave, it would be a poor leaving group because NH2- minus is a relatively strong base. Furthermore, if we were to first protonate the amine so that we have NH3 as a leaving group, NH3 is still a fairly basic compound, so NH3 is not a, leave a good leaving group either. Overall, amines generally do not undergo substitution or elimination reactions. However, this does not mean that amines are not useful compounds. In fact, due to the presence of the lone pair of electrons on the nitrogen, amines are useful for acting as bases in biological systems. When we look at ethers, we see that the alkoxide group, or OR-, would be a strong base, so it would be a poor leaving group. However, as with alcohols, if we first protonated the oxygen to have a protonated ether, the leaving group would be essentially an alcohol. And since alcohols are weak bases, this would be a better leaving group. 